Yeah, hi, it's Sam Lazar here from Sam Lazar Tech, and I'm going to be showing you how to install Ubuntu Budgie. So I think last year, or early this year, I think last year, um, I did a, a video or a review on Ubuntu Budgie, but I didn't show you how to install it in that video, so I'll be showing you how to install it now. This is the next version of the system, but it's still the same process as the before. May look updated now, but it's still the same program, I mean system. Let's go ahead and start. I'm using a virtual machine, but this is the same on real hard. We're definitely boot from, boot from a DVD, Blu-ray, or um, a USB or external drive of some sort. So it's loading. Okay, it's booting. Into full screen. Ubuntu Budgie 1804. What that means is 18 this year, the fourth month which is April. Okay, it's full screen now, so that's good in a way. Um, Try Ubuntu Budgie or install. We're going to select try. We are still installing, but you'll understand why. That's the steel design. This virtual machine has a 10 gig hard drive, and um, it's got about 2 gigs of RAM. So just tins under, but. Okay. Oh, connection established and I'm all set up. I am using Ethernet with the virtual machine, but when you install it and you install with what's it called, um, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi to feel password and all that stuff. Yada yada yada. Install now. So the reason I'm doing that is because um. I want to um set uh what's going to call it. But the reason I said try now you can muck around the system whilst I'm storing. So English of course from Australia. I still don't think you can see my FACO time. English US keyboard. That's why I have on my gaming laptop. No, uh, normal installation. Minimum if you just want the basics. Install updates. Still third party for this hardware. This is a virtual machine, but that's what you usually do. So yeah. Rose. Erase disk. Install. That's the only option. If you're installing alongside Windows 10, there would be an option for Windows. Bit iffy on newer hardware. So, yep. I've tried myself in a bit iffy on other Linux systems. Um, and, yeah, you can also install alongside other systems. So, I'm going to let the raised disk. So yeah. Well that's only option. So we wanna say yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yes I know, continue. There's nothing on this drive because the virtual machine brand new prepared today. Hmm.
That's correct. I'm in Melbourne. Good name. Gaming name, choose a password. Please, you want you to remember, and I always do require password login for security, and I would do usually uh, encrypt the disk as well for extra security. But I'm just showing you how you store it normally. Then PC was installing, and now for the world. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, you can read on the information on about it. Uh, yeah, this is very similar to the previous build of Ubuntu Budgie, but it's really updated. So, yeah, well, the reason I'm doing this video is I want to uh, show people how to uh, show, do different operating system review, all that stuff. But my original Ubuntu Budgie re video, I never had them. Um, and install it, so I want to make a follow up or a prequel or pre video on how to install. So that's why. Yeah. Almost finished copying files. Yep. I always recommend USB 3 drive over 2. So um, if you have a Type C USB, of course, Type C port. If you've got Type A, Type A port, of course, but I always recommend 3 over 2, even 3 on 2 drive, so max it out the port speed. So, yep. Yep, comes with its own office program and all that stuff. I don't recommend Linux in general, I recommend Windows, but if you're someone who's wanting Linux, you can all tell you see that dodgy great videos and say how great. Go ahead, right. The reason I don't recommend Linux is part of my lot, most of the software I need is not on Linux. Yeah, sure, it's Google Chrome and Firefox and, yeah, um, Firefox and it's a few programs of mine which are on Linux, but. But, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Who is that? Yeah. My very most recent copy is Google Chrome and Steam with its real library and that series is I can't really think much like if I can get rid of 
suppose we'll get all the apps I want, not alternatives, the same one from me I'll get. That's the pack. Same stuff with Windows, so that's alright. Also, I have no problem with the Windows anyway. Yeah, it's doing updates as well, so my internet's really crappy. Hmm. Really crappy. This is how slow my internet is. I try to call my friend. Um, Patrick um, on Facebook Messenger. Stuff out. Why? Because it's so big input delay, it will just time out. Um, when I'm talking on my phone, come home, once my phone connects to my Wi Fi, it will automatically go shoddy and then crap. My um, so bad, um, I can only replay, I think, 480 videos. If I get up to 720, it will start to be a bit jerky. So yeah, I uh no. Yeah, mm, uh. Hmm. Fourteen minutes remaining. Oh joy. Fourteen minutes, uh Oh no, two minutes, okay. Copy the that. I can never trust my internet. Right, so the reason I say up install updates is extra security and all that kind of mumbo jumbo. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, great computer system. Well, not great, but nice system. Because all the apps I want were on Linux, I would use it. But they're not. Yeah, I know. Microsoft Office, not Linux. My EPA and Software More are not on. Well, Steam Games not on. It's stuff. I still do Linux system. But, oh yeah, I can use one. Uh, that's a bit off. I don't mind if there's like a special Linux version of this one. Oh, here's the full Windows program. La la la. Here's the Linux version. Oh, there's a difference of like in the corner. I'll, I'll have the file menu. I don't mind. I can try. They've got some panels. Same program. Even if it looks a little different, it's the same program. I'm still happy. Yeah. Alright. For now, use Windows. Using hardware or that kind of stuff. That's a little emoji. Yeah, so I'm not talking much, but there's nothing really much to talk about. So yeah, 
Yes. What's that? Keep a note. Oh, you can quickly write notes, I'm guessing. Night light. Sun was pretty, I'll leave that. Oh, I can't. I need everything on there. I need a word. I need, I need muscle muscles. I need one dry. I need the whole lot. But it's not going to happen. Installing the full system. Yeah, the full system. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. Hopefully nearly done when I can remove my ISO or disk and then reboot, log on and show you it's installed. Like, it's really simple to install. If you have a system on this computer before you reinstall, you have to, uh, before you install it, you have to back up everything if you're wiping. I would still back up anyway. Because, yeah, because you have to move in some old files from the system it doesn't need. I'm guessing, yep. Hmm. Come on, come on. Ah, please, if you've been doing some documents and testing, copy it onto a second drive, then save, copy the drive. Reboot. No, actually copy. No, save. Copy or cut and paste. If you copy, then you delete. Of this is then reboot. Which I'm doing now. So yeah. You want to Remove uh, import. So I'm going to go optical drive. Remove from virtual disk. Then press enter.
I'll keep booting. Virtual positive. What? Time for my password. Timber first. World failing. Anyway, I'm Sam. Thank you for watching and see ya.